Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the derivation of pull up to pull down ratio for NMOS inverter driven through one or more pass transistors. In the previous video, I have explained you uh, the calculation of NMOS inverter uh, pull up to pull down ratio where that NMOS inverter driven through another NMOS inverter. Okay, generally the NMOS inverter which is having the normal uh, pull up to pull down ratio is about a minimum of 4 is to 1 above which is preferred below that if we take below that value like 4 is to 1 then the characteristics of the NMOS inverter are not meeting the required values then we may have a problem with the operation of the NMOS inverter when you are using them in a large circuitry. So definitely we should meet that minimum required pull up to pull down ratio like 4 is to 1 when a single NMOS inverter is considered. Now the same NMOS inverter if it is driven through one or more pass transistors what should be the minimum pull up to pull down ratio we should calculate okay that we will get 8 is to 1 okay we have to prove that. Now consider two inverters in cascade with one or more pass transistors as in the previous case. So consider two inverters cascaded through pass transistors cascaded through pass transistors so first inverter we are having like this the output of this one is passing through number of pass transistors and so on. Again this output is given to another inverter. Okay, Let us consider this is inverter 1 and this is the input VDD. Here also we are taking the input as VDD we are taking the input as VDD and this inverter is number 2 ok this is the V in and V out ok suppose if you are taking individually V in 1 the input for this inverter 1 V out 1 output of the inverter 1 and V in 2 and V out 2 that also we can take otherwise we can take directly V in and V out and let us denote 3 points a, B, C. Okay. And we are taking all these pass transistors as NMOS transistors and all these transistors are applied with a constant supply voltage that is VDD. That means all these pass transistors are said to be operated in on state. Always they are in on state. Okay. On transistor is having some threshold voltage across this. It is having some threshold voltage Vt. It is having some threshold voltage Vt. It is also having some threshold voltage Vt. That means when input voltage like Vdd, suppose consider the input voltage at point A. Let at point A, at point A, let us consider the input is 0 volts. The input is 0 volts. Then at point B, what happens? What is the output of at point B? At point B, the output is VDD volts. Output is VDD because 0 becomes 1. Logic 1 is nothing but 5 volts approximately that is VDD. After passing through these many pass transistors, let us consider at point C, at point C, the voltage appeared at the input of this inverter 2 is VDD degraded by an amount of pass transistors threshold voltage. That will be again VT1 plus VT2 plus VT3 and so on, all these together. Okay, so we are taking the output as VTD minus VTP, which is appeared at the input of inverter 2. If the more number of pass transistors are cascaded together, then there is a degradation of amount in the input voltage which is appeared here at point B. That means the voltage 
at B and C are not equal because of the existence of number of fast transistors. Hope you understand. Then what happens? Suppose if you are even if you are giving logic one here that may be treated as logic zero when it is appeared at the point C. Okay. Again, if it is logic zero, if the logic level is treated as logic zero, then again after passing through the inverter, the output is one. Okay. So in this circumstance. in this situation we say v out 1 is equal to v out 2 v out 1 is nothing but here v out 1 if i say v in 1 v out 1 and it is v in 2 v out 2 okay So at this circumstance, we can say V out one is equal to V out two. So for the input voltage V D D or V D D minus V T P, we assume that in the NMOS inverter we have two transistors. One is a depletion mode transistor in the pull up place, another one is enhancement mode transistor in the pull down place. So the depletion mode transistor is said to be in saturation region, and the enhancement mode transistor is said to be in non saturation region or triode region or linear region are also known as ohmic region okay the, uh, so the pull up transistor is operated in saturation region and pull down transistor is operated in non saturation region so assume depletion mode transistor depletion mode transistor is in saturation region and enhancement mode transistor is in non saturation region why we should consider the saturation and non saturation region because when you are writing the current equations ids versus vds definitely you should know in which region it is operating non saturation or saturation then only we can consider the formula okay so i am replacing the circuits like this so with the above assumptions replace replace depletion mode transistor with constant current source constant current source and enhancement mode transistor with enhancement mode transistor with a resistor okay so i will draw the circuit diagram the constant current source just here it is represented like this which is a constant current source and here the enhancement mode transistor is in the resistor region or linear region set to be like this r1 it is vdd okay and current flowing through this one is i1 this is t1 transistor t1 and this is transistor t2 which is having the output v out 1 okay and the current flowing through this one is ids1 it is having drain here source here <coughs> okay ids1 is the current flowing especially through this uh, resistance r1 okay it is depletion mode transistor it is enhancement mode transistor <coughs> this is for inverter 1 now if you draw the circuit diagram for inverter 2 in the similar way it will be also like this r2 the current flowing through this one is ids2 and here it is v out 
plus VDD it is the current I2 this is the transistor T1 T2 and here it is the ground this is inverted to inverted to with the input VDD minus VTP and with the input here inverter 1 with the input VDD okay that means here in this case V in is VDD in this case second case V in is VDD minus VTP we can say VGS here VGS here okay that means VGS equal to VDD here VGS equal to VDD minus VTP okay now what we are going to do is we will calculate V out 1 V out 2 individually later equating V out 1 and V out 2 will give you the ZPU by ZPD for this network okay so how to calculate the V out 1 V out 1 is nothing but from here to ground voltage from here to ground so we can say it is the current that i1 is flowing through the entire circuit so i1 into r1 and here also i2 into r2 so first we need to calculate what is the current that is flowing in the non saturation region transistor okay so inverter 1 i am now first doing the calculation part for the inverter 1 okay so for pull down transistor for pull down transistor ids take it as ids1 for the first inverter is equal to k into w by l k into w by l into VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS square by 2 because why we have considered this formula is the transistor is said to be in the pull down transistor is said to be in non saturation region so for the non saturation region especially we should consider the formula okay so before writing the current equation we should know in which region the transistor is said to be operated as it is in non-saturation region, we have considered the non-saturation region formula. Here it is pull down. So PD, here it is pull down PD. PD 1 for the first inverter. So VGS and VT, VDS 1 for the first inverter, VDS 1 for the first inverter. Here VGS is equal to, what is the VGS for the first inverter? VGS is equal to VDD. VGS equal to VDD. So, VGS is equal to VDD and neglect, neglect VDS square by 2 as VDS is very small. Okay, because the transistor is said to be in non-saturation region. In non-saturation region, the condition is VDS is less than VGS minus VT. That means it is less value. So, okay, generally we consider an average value VDS by 2. So, it is almost negligible in the square term. So, that's why applying all these uh, assumptions in this IDS1 is equal to K into WPD1 by LPD1 into VGS is VDD minus VT into VDS. 1 this is what the equation okay we can further write it as uh, z is nothing but l by w so k by z pd1 into vdd minus vt into vds1 this is the ids1 okay from this we can write it as VDS1 by IDS1 is equal to the resistance R1 is equal to ZPD1 by K into VDD minus VT. Okay, this is the equation R1.
now we need to calculate i1 from the circuit i1 is nothing but this one we need to calculate i1 for the depletion mode transistor okay that means for pull up transistor for pull up transistor so pull up transistor is said to be operated in saturation region that's why ids1 is the ids1 uh, sorry ids for the pull up transistor okay we are taking it as pull up transistor i have taken it as i1 from the circuit i1 is equal to k into wpu by lpu into vgs minus vtd for the depletion mode transistor it is square by 2 because the transistor is in saturation region okay so that is equal to k into 1 by 2 ZPU. This is for first inverter. So take it as 1 into VGS is for the depletion mode transistor. VGS is 0 minus VTD square. Okay. So therefore I1 is equal to K by 2 ZPU1 into VTD square. Okay. Now v out 1 is equal to i1 into r1 that is equal to k in divided by 2 z p u 1 into v t d square into r1 r1 what is r1 this one z p d 1 z p d 1 by k into v d d minus v t v d d minus v t so that is equal to v out 1 zpd1 by zpu1 two times is equal to vtd square by vdd minus vt this is v out 1 okay so in a similar way we need to calculate v out 2 also that will also give the same result because the transistor the entire circuit is same just one becomes two okay so similarly similarly v out 2 is equal to v out 2 is equal to we can write i2 r2 i2 into r2 so i2 will becomes where i2 will be k into 1 by z p u 2 v t d square by 2 and r2 is equal to 1 by k z p d 2 into 1 by here the VGS value is VDD minus VTP threshold voltage of the pass transistor will be reduced minus VT ok so if you multiply these two then V out 2 is equal to V out 2 is equal to I2 into R2 KK gets cancelled ZPD2 by ZPU2 into VTD square by this is also 2 into VDD minus VTP minus VT. Okay, so we know we have assumed already we have assumed V out 1 is equal to V out 2 that gives what is v out 1 v out 1 is this one zpd 1 by so zpd 1 by 2 into zpu 1 into vtd square by vdd minus vt that is equal to zpd 2 by 2 into zpu 2 into vtd square divided by vdd minus vtp minus vt 
so after cancellations we will be having keep zpu 2 by zpd2 on left hand side and on the right hand side we will be having zpu1 by zpd1 into vdd minus vt by vdd minus vtp minus vt okay so typical values typical values are zpu1 by zpd1 is equal to 4 is to 1 that we have already calculated in the previous video okay that means uh, which is nothing but a normal pull up to pull down ratio for the n mass inverter next vdd we know vdd and vt is equal to 0 0.2 into vdd and vtp is nothing but 0 0.3 vdd so if you substitute all this therefore zpu2 by zpd2 is equal to 4 by 1 into vdd minus vt vdd minus vt so vdd minus 0 0.2 vdd and divided by vdd minus 0 0.3 vdd minus 0 0.2 vdd that is equal to 4 by 1 see here 5, 1 minus 0 0.0.8 0 .0 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay so this is approximately equal to 4 by 1 into 2 that is equal to 8 by 1 approximated value so therefore zpu2 by zpd2 is equal to 8 is to 1 okay that means the pull up to pull down ratio for the nmos inverter driven by one or more pass transistors uh, minimum voltage minimum ratio required is 8 is to 1.